Now, your album, uh, Street Lethal, I know it's been out for a while now, so since, what, November last year? Yeah, yeah. I did, Actually, uh, the single Anthem for America, it was released exactly one year ago today. Oh, wow. Okay. So, now, uh, so I was going to ask about that song, actually, because now you guys have come to Australia, so will there be an Australian Anthem coming up next album? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> yeah. it's it's up to the audience to to prove it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, uh, but no, it's a great album. So I guess you guys you're doing a lot of songs from that album on, the, on this tour. Yeah, yeah, we're doing a few. Uh, it's I think it's it's the same for all the bands when you have a few albums in yeah. your catalog. It's so hard to make a a decent set list. Yeah. So. Even if you want to do a lot of new songs, I know the bands I like, I don't want them to play only new songs, you know? Yeah, exactly. So, so we, t we try to, to mix new with some old and, and make a good set, you know? Yeah. So. Now, without giving too much away, but is our Rise Above in the set list? Yeah. Excellent. <laughs> it is. Yeah. That's yeah. cool. <laughs> it's the opening. Oh, there we go. Opening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, really cool song. I like that one. It's just the just grooves the whole way. Yeah, it's great. Oh, uh, thanks. Yeah, yeah, I like it. It's and it's grown to be uh, like uh, uh, one of the best parts of the of the set list. I think mm. it's it's such a powerful opening. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So with the film clip, did you uh, like? I see. So you produced and scripted it. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so are you the one into the martial arts? No, okay. <laughs> I wish I was. <laughs> Actually, this this will maybe surprise people, but none in the band is doing martial arts, uh, sadly. But I, I maybe one day I will. But we we are so inspired by by eighties action movies. So, yeah, yeah. Uh, there's that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I noticed even with your the title, the street lethal, the the, the fonts and everything. Yeah, yeah. Straight yeah. Friday, I think. Yeah, <laughs> and I wanted I wanted the album cover to be, uh, you know, like uh, the Indiana Jones uh, yep. covers. So that was like the inspiration, like oh, yeah, doing yeah. it like an like a movie poster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> cool. So, how about the actress in that film clip? Do you, Do you guys know her? Uh, yeah, yeah, we know her. She's in the Anthem for America video as well. Oh, yeah. And uh, actually, when uh, Danny Rexon, his other project uh, with Jess Kane, I'm helping him recording the videos for that. And Bella was in one of those as well. So, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, she looks like she knows her stuff. With the, uh, yeah, definitely. She's, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And she's really easy to work with. Yeah. It's like, uh, okay, what you want to do, how you want to do it. Okay. I will do this, not that. That's really cool. No drama. No, no drama. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, it's actually my, my latest film clip I did. Um, so I released an album last year, actually, about, about this time. Mm -hmm. uh, I think oh, she's a friend fun. of yours, actually, with Phoenix Van Der Weyden. Yeah, yeah, yeah the, the, the guitar player. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's the one. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's very like 80s, 90s rock type thing. Yeah, nice. In a, yeah, our latest film clip, we did it in a, in a boxing ring. So it was really cool to, to see you guys. Ah, cool. something. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. In that, in uh, Rise Above, we wanted to, uh, we merged a lot of inspiration in, in one uh, video. Mm. But we, we wanted this, this feeling of uh, like uh, the uh, Rocky movies. Yep. Like the, the underdog is going to... Uh, win the the whole shit yeah. and mix it with the japanese uh fighting scenery you know so yeah. we had a lot of ideas and a lot of ideas wasn't really uh, we couldn't work out but <laughs> i think i think it uh, ended up really well that's yeah yeah that's great yeah, really cool yeah. stuff yeah so you joined the band was it back in 2012 didn't you yeah it's 10 years now well it seems like there's a like a a bit of a circle going on because I noticed uh, Vic was in the band, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 
And then uh, uh, Crazy Licks, Crazy Licks did a, a a tour opening for Hardcore Superstar at that time. And okay. when when Silver uh, told the guys he wanted to leave the band, mm. I think it was in the middle of the tour actually, and Vic had to learn this their full headlining set in like a day or two. Oh, wow. And he did it just to, uh, so he did double shows each night, oh, wow. which is just sick. Yeah. And uh, the rest is history. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, I didn't realize that. Yeah, I didn't know that he was actually playing both at the same time. Yeah, yeah. Wow. For that tour, it it was yeah. must have been intense. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And and then you guys had the, I noticed you did the thing with uh, New Horizon with um, uh, Jonah and Eric as well, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. That was a really fun project to do. Yeah, that was a great album as well. Yeah, I like it. I I grew up with a lot of um, power metal music, mm. actually, yep. like uh, Halloween and uh, Ed Guy and yeah, mostly German bands. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah. so so when when Jonah showed me the songs, because that's a lot of his background as well. Yep. And when he showed me, he show, sent me a song like, "How do you like this?" And I was like, oh, this brings up memories. Oh, this is so cool. Yeah. You know, so uh, I was really honored when he asked me if I wanted to join in on, on the videos and such. So no, that's really cool. So did you play bass on the album as well? No, actually, on the album, it's it's J- uh, Jonah. He's oh, such okay. a multi, multi-instrumentalist. Yeah. So I think he, he does it all except for uh, some guitar solos. Yep. Uh, and drums, yeah, and yeah. vocals, obviously. <laughs> yeah, no, that, that Eric is just incredible, his crazy voice. Yeah, he's a machine, machine. Yeah. And we, those videos we did, I went up to Stockholm and filmed it. It was, I think, it was his first, the first things he, he was doing since he was starting to recover from his uh operation. Yeah. and such and it was so inspirational to to see him giving it like 110 mm. percent. and between the sets he was like <gasps> about to faint you know and then okay next shot and he was like dum, dum, and it was so good yeah so that was that was really he, he's a true professional actually yeah 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 i mean um i was saying last week as well jonah was talking about it saying how just how inspired he was as well. And like, like, like doing that the Swedish Idol and singing um, Skid Row now is in the yeah. band. Just incredible, incredible story. Yeah, it's an incredible journey. It's, it's like this, uh, it's a good movie script, you know. Yeah, yeah, it'll be like rock star. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> totally. <laughs> but he, I've been watching, not live, sadly, but watching a lot of uh, shows with Skid Row now on, mm. on YouTube and he's he sounds so incredibly good yeah you know he's he's taking care of his voice really good yeah yeah it's good and Danny as well he's got a great voice too with you guys. yeah 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 really yeah he's yeah. he's he's talented as well yeah like different styles but I really like the way he you know it reminds me of like the old 80s rock music I guess his vocals yeah you know, the, the yeah music. And I think you can hear straight away that it's Chris Licks when you hear mm. Danny's voice. Exactly, yeah. Sometimes if we wonder, is this song Chris Licks enough? Yeah. And then when he sings it, but yeah, obviously. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, it's great. I mean, it just takes me back. So, I mean, you know, I grew up on Van Halen and you know, mm. all those bands, Firehouse and you know, back, back when my hair was like yeah. yours, you know, down here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, just listen to you guys. It just takes me back to that same vibe, you know. It's, it's really cool. Oh, awesome. Awesome. Yeah. That's the point of it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So what what were your main influences growing up? I know you spoke before about Halloween and everything, but... Yeah, yeah. and then then obviously uh, Kiss. Uh, Kiss is the, my biggest... Uh, favorite bands and i know they are in australia at the moment yeah that's right yeah <laughs> i think we're gonna miss them like <laughs> yeah but, like, uh, it's saturday like it is yeah yeah uh kiss and iron maiden alice cooper all those classic rock bands it's it's not until now when i'm grown up i i start to listen to more 
uh, uh, a, a wider yeah. sort of music, you know, because then I was just like die hard. If if anyone was showing me like, hey, you should listen to this, and I I could answer like seriously, I don't have time. I listen to Kiss, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> So now, now I'm a bit, bit more open-minded. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So did you, did you start with bass or guitar when you very first started? Drums, actually. Oh, really? Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. When I, I was really young, uh, and our neighbor where I grew up was a really good drummer. So he, he had his big red uh, drum kit with a lot of toms, and yeah. I was just like, oh, that's, it looks like Eric Carr's drums. <laughs> so. So I started playing drums for uh, for some time, and then switch over to guitar, and then I realized that bass is the coolest. <laughs> <laughs> it was still at that age when I when I saw like Gene Simmons is pretty cool, and Steve Harris is a phenomenal bass guitar player. Yeah, and I then I started to be more and more like. Um, looking how Steve Harris does it and mm. and merging his playing, you know. Yeah. So since then I've been hooked. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, that's great. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you do it well, so why not? <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> now I did see a photo of you walking, I think it was on the uh the cruise and you're yeah. walking it's like a, a tightrope. It was actually like a part of a stage. And you're walking. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you do that a lot? Are we expecting that in Australia as well? <laughs> uh, if there's a... Actually, and some of the guys are getting tired of, of me doing stuff like that because they never know what, what's going to happen. <laughs> you know, and I, it, I'm not promising something weird will happen, but yeah. I, when I play, sometimes I just see th something and I yeah. like, get, oh, this, this would be cool to do and such. <laughs> Uh, so Danny started to calling me Chance Anderson instead of Jens because oh. there's a, like 50% 50, 50 chance of me breaking a leg or something. <laughs> <laughs> so not, nothing's happened yet? I, no, not yet. Not yet. Yeah. But I think it's, it's um, that's just one extra thing for the audience because uh, yeah. then something happens that only happened on, on the show they were at. And yeah, I think exactly. That's something uh, you can remember for a long time. Yeah. If 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 I go and see a Kiss and Paul Stanley uh, falls off the stage, that would be a huge memory for me. You know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's funny. Even actually, though I don't want him to fall off the stage. No, no, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> but it reminds me of the first time I saw Poison here in Australia, and um, uh, you know, the guys come down the, the rises, and uh, CC Deville got to the bottom and just fell flat on his face and. Oh, up. really? <laughs> <laughs> it's it's fun when you improvise uh, yeah, some yeah. bits and pieces. Yeah, <laughs> but that's great for the show too. Like you said, yeah, it's right. I'd rather see that than just watch someone just you know just stay in there and play, do nothing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and it's it's a part of us having fun on stage as well. Yep. Because uh, it's it's just uh, what we love to do the most, you know. Yeah, and I think with the music you guys do as well, like it comes in together. Yeah, yeah. As long as you still play and sound good, you can do whatever you want. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so what else did you do to keep yourself busy during the whole pandemic crazy times? Oh, we worked a lot on, on Street Lethal during that time. Okay. Uh, and then I, I have my own side business uh, where I do uh, like... Uh, tour merchandise and stuff, uh, oh. design, designs and such. Mm. So I did a lot for, yeah, for Crazy Licks, obviously, but I have my own uh, brand, uh, Sunset Prints, it's called. So I could merge a lot of time into that, you mm. know, so that, that was fun for me, actually. Yeah, that's really good. Yeah, it's funny, I speak to a lot of people that, you know, like in the music industry, and they do a lot of that graphic designing and um, yeah, like, like Phoenix, for example, like she did all the artwork for our album, like every song has got its yeah. own artwork and it's just incredible. Uh, awesome. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's because I, me growing up, I was a, like the CD generation kid, yeah. but I, I was always buying vinyls mm. uh, because of the album covers and love to just watch at the album, 
listen to it and, and see new stuff every time. Yeah. And so I have that in mind as for Crazy Licks and, and T-shirt designs as well. Like mm. I want to make something that I want to wear, you know. Yeah. So you're bringing that a lot to the uh, to Australia as well, a lot of the merchandise? Yeah, I uh, actually did a, a Australia tour shirt that okay. will be available also. So oh, it's awesome. uh, it's special. <laughs> yeah. Now, the other thing I did notice, you were talking about Kiss before, but so you actually met, was it Paul Stanley or the whole band? Like, yeah, it, it was the whole band. Oh, okay. And it was, it was such a coincidence because I know you can buy these VIP tickets. Yep and such and uh, they are always so expensive and i've always been not against it but i i have never been really interested in paying that amount just for a quick photo uh, yeah. like that but me and my uh, my girlfriend martina who we went to stockholm to see kiss i think this is like 2017 or something 19 maybe and we were sitting uh, in the old town of stockholm and just eating and I just turned my head around and I saw someone like this soprano dude yeah. and I just freezed because it, it, it was Doc McKee oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, and I told Martina and she was like yeah who's that <laughs> <laughs> so I, I just flew up and talked to him and said uh, nice to see you and we're here to see Kiss and, and he was like uh, really happy that someone recognized him i think he was yeah. super friendly mm. so he was he was asking me is it just the two of you here yeah yeah we're staying at a hotel we're gonna see the concert tomorrow well uh, you want to meet the band and i was just my jaw dropped <laughs> <laughs> well. so i actually got doc's number and he uh, he set it up set up so the day after we went on to the concert and got in the line and uh, met the band and did the whole experience for free wow that's awesome uh yeah that was like uh, for me i was like such a small kid again <laughs> yeah yeah unreal <laughs> that's incredible yeah yeah i met gene back in the um what was it speaking with tongues to her where he did in australia but mm. again he had to pay for it so getting for free yeah. bonus <laughs> Yeah, really, really. It was such, uh, it was amazing. Yeah. No, hopefully I'll well, yeah, come, come say hello when you, before the show. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Yeah. We yeah. love, we, oh, we are one of those bands that loves to talk to our audience, you know? So yeah. as, as soon as we finished our, our set, we're always like, okay, go out to the merchandise and we'll go out and, and, and talk to people. Not, cool. not only for, selling and selling but to to meet people and talk and uh, yeah. having taking photos with people and oh, we just love love meeting meeting people like that oh, that's really good yeah no, definitely i'll come up and say hello and just look out for the, yeah, you the old bald guy that's me yeah <laughs> 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 no nah, it's gonna be a blast yeah no, excellent. No, i'm really forward to it but uh, thanks again for your time really appreciate it and... yeah definitely Take right. care, man. Yeah, thanks again. See you soon. Okay. See ya. Bye. Bye. Bye.